Various studies have proven that acute poverty, cultural beliefs and broader tradition are major contributors to the phenomenon of child marriages. Statistics of 2014 from the United Nations Children Fund UNICEF uncovered that Africa is home to 15 of the 20 countries with the highest rates of child marriages in the world. The practice is widespread, particularly in the West and Central Africa, where 42% of children are married. While in East and Southern Africa, child marriage affects about 37% of girls. We should not deny our African heritage and our African culture, and we should promote that which is positive. But at the same time, we must recognize that we have got harmful traditional practices and child marriage has been identified as one of those. Late last year, Namibia's Gender and Child Welfare Ministry admitted that lack of frequent data on all aspects of early marriages makes it difficult to completely outlaw the practice, despite children being protected under various laws. Minister Doreen Sioka pointed to the National Demographic Health Study of 2013 which showed that women between the ages of 20 and 49 at the time of the study, almost 2% got married by the age of 15 and 8% by the age of 18. The poverty-stricken Kunene region tops the list as the ministry is yet to release the data of a study conducted last year. As we are talking, the African Union has started a campaign on early child marriages. I know that the UN Women, uh, an organization of the Africa um, of the UN, is also part and parcel of this campaign. So yes, children and women, as I say, will always be part and parcel of any developmental issues for Africa. Governors is also to highlight the plight of child soldiers recruited because of the power struggles in some parts of Africa. We want to have an Africa that is fit for children. An Africa in which a child does not become a wife and a mother. The West and Central Africa are among the regions with the highest recruitment of child soldiers. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.